Hello guys, this is Vivek. Welcome to the fourth tutorial of Linux. So till now we have seen that how to install Linux on a local system or a virtual machine, how to connect to it. Now we are going to see what are different directory structures that are common in most of the Linux environment. So uh, I will give example of two Linux flavors here. One is Ubuntu and another is Red Hat. So this is Ubuntu. So, so I'll be using few commands like cd ls. Don't worry for that. We will have session on that in detail later. So if you take Ubuntu, go to root. I went to the root directory and I find this ls command. So I got the directory structure here or I can just type ls minus lt. These are the directory. Uh, it's not fitting the screen properly. I'll just type, I'll just clear the screen and type ls. <coughs> so these are the main directories here. If you see in Red Hat Linux, I'll open the terminal. I'll do the same. cd slash, uh, clear the screen and then type ls. So if you notice, most of these directories are common. And this is a pretty much more or less same in most of the Linux environments. So what are these directories are? So the most important is bin, root, dev, etc, home, run, dmp, usr, and var, var. So what are these directories are? So bin is nothing, but it's, it's for, uh, it's a home, or it's a directory that contains <coughs> normal users executable files like uh, if I have logged in here as a student so all my executable files are here in bin so uh, like in Windows we have exe files here we have bi and binary files those are executable files so if you go inside bin you will see many executable files here all the commands that you type that I'm typing cd ls these are basically programs that run in the background all right so all these commands or programs are stored inside bin okay let's clear the screen now next is slash s bin what is that cd s bin so it's same as bin only difference is that this this contains the files which are meant for super usable so, or admins <coughs> all right now there's another directory called cd dot dot slash root okay sudo cd slash root Right. Okay, it's not allowing me to do a cd into root. I'll just elevate my privileges or get my additional right. I'll become super user. All right. So we were here cd slash and we were trying to go inside cd slash root. Here we are. Now we are inside slash root. So these are all files related with the root user. It contains bootloaders and kernel information. These files require to start the booting processes. Many of these files, like anaconda-case.cfg and other files. Don't worry about these things. We'll talk about everything in detail some, some point later. Then we have another directory which is def this is nothing but device files so in, in linux everything is a, a def is, is treated as a file even your monitor your keyboard everything is treated as a file here and these things are mounted here under slash dev that is for devices it contains all the devices file which is used to access the hardware all right and another directory is slash etc. So this is the home to all the configuration files. It contains 
all the configuration files related with all the softwares or programs that are configured on your system like etc hosts or http uh, server or apache configuration file or ssh server configuration file all these files can be found here so re remember this is one of the most important directory that you will be uh, very frequently visiting while you're working on linux so slash etc is for config files so config file contains set of rules and setting which is required for the service to run all right then another directory is cd slash home so this is the home directory for the logged in user so all the users are allocated a different home directory <coughs> so if you see here we have a student's home directory so when i log in as a student i'll be logged in into slash home slash student let's see what's inside student directory so the desktop the documents downloads music and all different directories associated with the student id is inside slash home slash student right another important directory is slash run so what are these files so these all these runtime data files which are important for process started during booting and it's present till shutdown so the content of the slash run is recreated at every reboot so whenever the system is rebooting it all these files are recreated and these are required to run the programs during the runtime so don't, don't tweak any of these until and unless you know what exactly you are doing so another directory is temp cdtmp as the name suggests it's a temporary directory it contains all the uh, temporary files or information all right another directory which is useful is slash user <coughs> so these are this contains all the installed packages and read only data just remember that these all are read only data and mm, i'll also talk about slash var directory what are these okay so this the name suggests it's a variable directory so all the variable data specific to a user machine contains all the variable data which will remain even after reboot so the difference between temp or um, or slash run directory and bit and slash var is that the file remains even after the reboot is taken taken place so uh, all the web related file html file log files database files dns related file all the web pages every everything reside in the slash var so this is common between um, red hat or, or ubuntu let's see what exactly this is cd slash var all right so this is it for now we talked about various important directories and i know that's little it might be a little geek to you right now but don't worry uh, just slowly and steadily you will learn about linux and you will get more comfortable with these directories so most important directory you should always remember was the config file where it, it resides slash etc and slash var that variable data where it resides so we spoke about slash bin slash s bin slash root slash dev slash etc slash home slash run slash temp slash usr and slash var if, if anytime you want to revise these concepts or you want to know so there are various uh, images which might help you with that so just type uh, linux directory structure and there are many many sites or images that can help you with uh, understanding what these things are there are many many different images which speak about different linux flavors and different directories i, I find it pretty useful while i'm getting confused or while i'm revising these things so all the best for now. We'll talk more about it in our next lecture. Thanks for watching.